So the, the training has about, I think if the numbers are correct, it's at least 35 trainees. It's all very hands-on work. It's field-based. Um, we've had uh, partners come from um, the Indian Council for Agricultural Research, from the Nepali um, Agricultural Research Council, from the Bangladesh Agricultural Research Institute, from CIMIT itself, um, from partner organizations such as Satguru based in India. Um, and we've all come together and we've spent a few days in classrooms and laboratories learning about the essentially the ecology and epidemiology of the disease, sometimes with having um, well-known professors Skyping in from the United States to give presentations. Um, and, and people have learned how, for example, to um, culture the disease and identify it in the lab in preparation for DNA extraction for proper uh, marker-assisted identification. What's most encouraging and interesting to me about the training is that we've designed it so it's interactive and the participants have essentially worked on designing their own surveillance protocol. So we're learning by doing and learning through experience by getting all of the trainees to work together to design the field sam sampling protocol and process to uh, learn how to geo-reference the areas that we're taking samples from and that we've worked together um, to do it as a group. And the ultimate goal is that for each of the trainees that when they graduate from the course, they will be um, not just knowledgeable, but actually empowered to be able to design their own field surveillance programs in their own countries, um, you know, next year and for the years that are following.